Hi, my name is Lee DeForth with the City of Columbia Planning Department. I'm the Comprehensive Planner. Hi, I'm Christina Gallardi, and I'm the co-chair of the Bike and Pedestrian Advisory Committee for the City, also known as BPAC. And welcome to Destination Hometown. Perfect. So Open Streets is being held this Sunday, April 22nd, from 1 to 5 p.m. on Divine Street between Sims and Chatham. And that's about three blocks where we're closing the street to allow people to enjoy the street in a new way. This is different from a festival. It's really a street transformation. And we're focusing on some key themes in terms of sustainable transportation, physical fitness, living streets, and civic pride. And those are carried out through different activities that are led on the street during that time. We uh, want folks to come out from the community and to participate in those activities together to learn about local business, to participate in physical activity and enjoy the outdoors, to engage with their neighbors, and to enjoy the city of Columbia. Open Streets events are part of a national movement, and the um, city of Columbia, this is our second year that we're doing it with the, um, with the heavy help of the Bicycle Pedestrian Advisory Committee, and they have really brought to the city an event unlike on any other. And we know we're really good at holding festivals in the city of Columbia. But like Christina said, what's important about this is that it's really engaging folks in the streetscape. When you think about um, the number of roadways we have in the city, think about how much space that takes and how roadways can provide um, opportunities, but also how they can provide barriers between neighborhoods, between communities. And what this does is it allows us to close the street um, and be part of that national and international movement. Um, the Open Streets Movement actually started in Columbia, the country, not the city, in the 1970s. And so th this is really spread internationally and uh, they, these activities vary from closing down a block to closing down um, the entire city downtown core. So we're really looking to expand upon what we did last year, engage um, those folks who really enjoyed it last year, but also engage some new folks to really think about how you might be able to take this home to your own community throughout the city. So BPAC's mission is to really promote biking and walking culture in the city of Columbia. And we do that by advising the city council on some of their um, different policies and in programs and also working very closely with the city planning department. But we also want to do education and different initiatives in the community to really raise awareness about um, biking and walking as forms of transportation that are a great way to get around the city and get physical activity and to get a different experience of the city and become closer to, to the city in that way. So we think that this is a great opportunity to help encourage people to enjoy the street in a different way than when you're driving down it in your car and to um, hopefully either bike or walk to the event if possible. Um, but to enjoy physical activity while you're there and then to continue to look for opportunities to walk and bike to parks or down your street or um, come to Columbia and park and then walk around downtown. Uh, just this can be a starting point for um, a transformation in the way that you travel and experience the city. We've got about 30 activity leaders so there'll be all sorts of different things from yoga in the street to um, you know, engaging kids in um, either baseball game or something like that. But last year we had some really, I think the, the activities that stand out for me, and, and Christina, you may have some as well, but um, Pelican Snowballs came with their snowball truck and they were allowing folks to throw snowballs at the owner. So you're practicing your, your aim, right? It's a physical activity um, and snowballs without the, the sugary substance there. <laughs> but. Um, but folks really got engaged in that. We had folks doing yoga in the street. We had um, a group with Stand Up Paddle Boards, California Republic, that was out there. And they had the paddle boards set up on air mattresses so people could test and see what doing a stand up or paddling on a stand up paddle board felt like with, of course, no water. I mean, the street was your water. But it was, it was really neat to see um, folks of all ages engage with those activities. We had the pedal parlors so people were riding up and down the street. So we, we think there will be those types of opportunities and, and more this time around, and we'd really love all the kind of experience it with us. 
I think my personal favorite was um, one of the local bike shops had e-bikes for folks to test out, which are more common internationally and even on the West Coast for people to just get to work or go grocery shopping. It gives you a little assist so you can carry more things on your bike. And I'd never gotten to experience one, but I got to use one up and down the street. And I'm really tempted to buy one if I start <laughs> to travel further distances. So it was fun. Come out and see it. We'd, we'd love to have y'all. It's certainly in a, a pretty accessible location. You can you can walk or bike there if you're close by. You can also ride the Comet. The Comet is detouring their route along Blossom. So, and you can put your bike on top of the Comet. So, or in front of the Comet. So, if you're if you'd like to bring your bike out and ride around, um, we found so many folks just had had a good time being in the street last year, and um, we hope that y'all can see kind of how it how we can transform a street for a day in Columbia. OpenStreetsColumbia.com is the website. It's also on the city's website on the main page, and um, the there are activity maps posted. So we'll have where those activities are taking place. But really, it's you know it's it's a three block section. So you can um, get there and kind of peruse the blocks during that one to five time. We think you'll really enjoy being there. We hope you'll join us and get to experience the street in a different way.